Welcome back to CPSB TV. I'm Stone Manning. And I'm Alex Lam. Coming up, we'll find out what foreign exchange students really think about America. Software students had a ball preparing for the ACT. Many foreign exchange students look forward to going to school in America, but their experience is not always positive. Pedro Carlucci is from Brazil. He talked to some fellow exchange students about what they think about America. This year, four SOFR families are hosted seven foreign and exchange students. One of them is Marlene Sichan from Germany. I was expecting to learn more about the culture and understand the United States more and how people think here, and I guess how it is to live um, to live in America and how it is to go to school in America. Tristan Poligot is from Belgium. I was expecting a lovely culture, a welcoming one, uh, people who would be nice and uh, really friendly towards you more than it actually is. At the beginning, Tristan said the food was a big issue for him. I think it's the quantity of the processed food here. The food is really different. We don't eat the same food. The, we don't have as much fast food as they have. And it feels like everything is filled with sugar and fat. Marlene says Americans and Germans think and interact differently. In Germany, our country is not that divided and the media is not that polarized, you could say. And so uh, we discuss politics in a more friendlier, in a friendlier way, and we are way nicer to each other uh, than here in the U.S. And also, the we pay more attention to the climate change and everything. And here, it's not a big deal at all. Tristan says he enjoys his school football games. It's a great way to meet people, to talk with them. It has um, a great atmosphere uh, when we win, especially. <laughs> Marlene likes pizza and sports in America. And I like the school spirit and I like that they um, put so much effort into the high school sports. And I like the football games and I like the NFL and that kind of stuff. Both Marlene and Tristan say that school in their countries are much harder than American schools. Pedro Carlucci, CPSB TV. The yearbook students are putting the finishing touches on the yearbook and seniors have only one more week to purchase senior ads. Joseph McCaffrey has the details. <sighs> I wish I could have my own page into this yearbook. <laughs> you <gasps> said that you want to have your own page on the yearbook, correct? Uh. Yeah, yes I do. Well, senior student, I have a name you know. Seniors can have their very own page for the new 2020 through 2023 yearbook. You can find the link to purchase the ad on Safa High Facebook page. The deadline is on March 17 to purchase the ad. So seniors, don't wait. They start at $20. Oh wow, now it's my chance. Thank you. Get them now. This week is ACT week for juniors across Louisiana. It's a week most students don't look forward to, but some sophomore high teachers came up with a fun way to prepare students. The junior English teachers had their students compete in a game of ACT dodgeball. Students who were knocked out during the game had to correctly answer an ACT type question to re-enter the game or they had to go to the back of the line to try again. The sophomore boys basketball team has wrapped up their season. The tours made it all the way up to the quarterfinals for the first time in more than a decade. Matthew Steckling put together these highlights. You already won, because what you created here tonight, you committed to back in November, we wanted to play for our community. Holy school, look what you have done. Look at what you have done. You've already won. Now step there and have some fun and finish the job, all right? What you have in front of you right now is exactly what you have visioned and what you have created for yourself is it a big lion? Hell yeah it is. All right? But that's exactly what you are. You chase it down, you look it in the eye, and you go with this thing. Clear a path as I keep on walking. Ain't no stopping in this dirty, filthy, rotten, nasty little world we call a home. They get Mickey's popping. Ain't no option for my partner. So they resort to scams and robbing. Take away 
stress, we gone to cop and blow it all out, it's all forgotten. Keep on walking, ain't no stopping in this dirty, filthy, rotten, nasty little world we call our home. Can't get Mickey's popping, ain't no option for my partner. So the resort the scams and robbing. Take away stress, we gone to cop and blow it all out, it's all forgotten. Walking with my back against the sun. I've been running all my life, that's way before my life begun. Since my birth and seconds on earth, I've been the first one to confront. Cycles that get recycled, making it stifle while I stunt. Roll me a b so I'll forget it. But in the details look so vivid. Went through a lot of shit in the last year. Then I said, get on my hand on my business. I've been 180 to talk to one lady. She been regulating on how I feel. Describe it as raw and real. I'm dealing with all the ills. I'm tearing up like I'm on Dr. Field. Ain't no use you gotta walk. Ain't no use you gotta walk. The students in TV production competed in a class film sprint. The films had to have three things, a shot of a trophy, a shot of a janitor's closet, and someone saying, show me the money. Here's the winning film. Do you have the money? Yeah, I have the money. I have the money. Okay. So wait, we we gonna talk to him? Try to get inside with the money? Yeah. That's it? Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Let's do that. Show the man the money. Show me the money. What's the money? Uh, sir, I'm gonna need both of you. Why? Ha! <laughs> ah, let's go! Let's go! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Well, that's all we have time for today. Please be sure to follow us on these social media sites. See you, See you next, next time. time.